I try to tell myself it's just a challenge because my initial emotional response, this isn't a logical response, it's an emotional response, is to feel that fear and anxiety and nervousness. And that's all natural and there's nothing wrong with that. And I tell myself, don't get down on yourself for feeling scared. There's nothing wrong with that. But then you need to take a moment and say, Noel, you're scared and that's okay. Now, what is it that I have to do to try to attempt to overcome this obstacle or challenge? And I often I write a list of the things that I think are going to work. And I review my list and often I take my list to my boss or someone else that has been through a similar situation. I say, this is the plan that I've come up with to go and meet with this person, to give this presentation, to take this test. These are the things, this is my plan for how I'm gonna attack this. And in fact, what I've taken to now, instead of writing a list on a piece of paper, I have a whiteboard. And I write it on the whiteboard so it's big and I can see the plan And because then it's a tangible thing that I can say, that's my plan on how to address this obstacle or challenge. Is it the most rational? Is it the most effective? And I may not know that, so what I'll do is I'll ask somebody else that's done it, and I'll say, how did you do it? Tell me how you did it. Were you scared? And often everyone says, yes, I was. And so these are the, the ways that I, that I try to overcome obstacles. And I tell myself, it's okay to be afraid. And it's okay if other people say you didn't do the best job, but it's okay because I did my best job. And that's okay, that's a good thing. No one's perfect at anything. And don't let anybody tell you that. If anyone wants to tell you, you did a bad job, and people will say that, they're not perfect at everything either. 